Hello my dear hobby kings, I am back with another video. What I have faced is that when I connect my APM board into the computer, you can see I am trying to connect. Let's jump into the computer. When I try to connect my APM board into the mission planner, it gives an error as you can see that connecting to Marvin Kobe right, trying to connect timeout in 29 seconds, 24, okay. I don't know what happened with my APM board but as you can see there are no red and blue lights flashing over here. And today I'm going to fix this problem. What actually the problem is that the output which is going into the board or the operation that should be performed is to be over 3.3 volt. As you can get over the I2C port, I'll check now. The error is no heartbeat packets received. Let's see how much output we are getting in the I2C port. Hope you see the multimeter. You are supposed to check the voltage from the leftmost pin towards me and the rightmost to the outwards of the I2C port. Let me check. Okay. As you can now see that the output voltage over here I2C port is over 4.6 volt. It should be around 3.3 volts. Okay, I will fix this now. Take it over. The reason behind is that there is a 3.3 regulator inside the APM board which has been burnt. So here is an another I will give a peek of this. It actually does is that it will take 5 volt input and give the output as 3.3 volt. We are going to use this chip in our APM board and solve our problem. I will give the diagram of the wiring here. Let me just disconnect the APM from the computer. Now, let me open the APM board. Be careful that you do not lose this duster like some piece as it protects the barometer inside the APM board. This is the APM board. Keep aside and now what we have to do is that This is the regulator which we want as you can see now. What I have did is that this is the ground wire as you can see the naming is over here. This is the top plate place your regulator like this and this is the ground pin and this is the positive Y for the 5 volt input and here was a 3.3 volt output which we have to connect to our APM board. Over these two small resistors which we are going to connect this white wire over here and we are going to get a 5 volt from any port from the APM of the ground as you can see here we will be able to get the 5 volt from here and the positive 5 volt from here then we are able to give 3.3 volt to the APM through these resistors which it may be solved let's do that ok let me describe what I have done as I said earlier the white wire which is coming from the 3.3 volt from the regulator is to be soldered here over the two resistors 
hope you can see okay let me lock the focus okay you can see i have soldered here this wire and the remaining positive and negative wires are should be soldered here you can take ground from any other place from the board as why your the positive should be connected here and let's just secure it with the rubber tape i think this is not the perfect place where it should be but as there is no place i'm placing it over here after checking whether it's working or not we'll again confirm okay let's check the board whether it's working or not wait for few seconds as it initialization begins let's wait for some time okay we are done the problem is fixed now let's try it. let us try again by connecting to the vision planner okay let me just hit the connect button over here bad compass help bad compass help it's working fine okay now we are getting the parameter list getting the params one free arm compass not helping Free arm, compass not helping. Bad compass help. Okay, now we are good to go. Thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe and like the video. Thank you.